just have to check in with my boss first, Mr. Poolcheck. Poolcheck. Mr. Poolcheck. That's a regular show character. You don't know that show, but he looks like one. Okay. <gasps> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my wife Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season one, episode 15 of Gravity Falls, The Deep End. Ooh, a pool episode maybe? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm interested to see that. Uh, they, the last episode we had underwater was like that sea monster. So I wonder if we're going to get up to similar shenanigans or something totally different. <laughs> shenanigans. Yeah. It's a good word. I feel like that's that's apt for this show. Oh, totally. No, it definitely is. Always getting into shenanigans in this series. We're going to have to see, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for more episodes of Gravity Falls coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see several episodes ahead, these are all posted to Patreon in extended full-length forms. All right, are we excited for episode 15 of Gravity Falls? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! Watch out, Gravity Falls, because at 110 degrees, we're looking at the hottest day of Pool day. The summer. Nice. Ooh. Huh, that's a good reference. Wait, how's it have its head back on? All in favor of doing nothing all day, say... Uh, uh, <laughs> All right. Hey kids, little help here. I feel like everyone's gonna be there. Oh my goodness. Hmm. And remember to be on alert for random wildfires. Wait, what? Hmm. California. Just getting incinerated. Okay. Cheyenne is here. Cheyenne is here. This is our beautiful old lady. The best. Ah, the pool. Nothing like sitting in a moist tub with strangers. It's like Real. the bus, but wet. Who's that? Oh my goodness. Warders, dude never leaves the pool. People say he's a mysterious loner. Is it getting hot out here or is it Crush? Just that guy? It's the hottest day of the year, It's man. been hot out. Can't you go for one week without having a new crush on some random guy? Uh-uh. She's having fun. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dang. That's not going well. You want to know a secret? She's never even kissed a guy before. Mean. So it up somehow. Mean. Unnecessary. Hey, Mr. Pines. Wendy. Where's All the right. lifeguard? I am the lifeguard. That's her. Boosh. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's attacking me with water. <laughs> wow. You work here? I found out lifeguards get free snack privileges. Plus, I get the best seat in the house. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, Very smooth, normal. Dipper. Are you and Wendy having a secret staring contest? Because I think you're winning. So, <laughs> so hey, you want to go check more water balloons? There's no way she doesn't realize Bluffs? what's going on. I gotta spend the day doing tryouts. We're looking for a new assistant lifeguard. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, I could do that job. Hey. And then we could hang out. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Check in with my boss first, Mr. Poolcheck. Your boss? Poolcheck. Mr. Poolcheck. That's a regular show character. You don't know that show, but he looks like one. Okay. Oh my gosh, how crazy bumping into you here, even though we don't know each other. <laughs> how long have you been underwater? That doesn't matter. <laughs> so, hey. Oh. Oh. Hola. Whoa, are you Australian? <laughs> I am charmed by your sense of humor. Mind if I... <laughs> oh. People, you are so forward. It's time. Ask him out on a date. So, hey, you want to go dry off? Maybe hit the snack bar? Or... I'm afraid I cannot. For I have a terrible secret. I have to stay in the water all the time? wonder if he's really short or something or has weird legs. <laughs> all right. And that is why I think I'd make a good lifeguard assistant. Mm. SPF 100, I like you. This isn't an easy job. It's anarchy out there. <laughs> Looks like it. Utter chaos. It. Can you handle this? Oh. I lost my hand to a pool filter. The pool may seem friendly, but she could turn on you in an instant. Do you think you have what it takes for Talking about it like the ocean is hilarious. <laughs> sure, I guess. Welcome to the deep end. Amazing. <laughs> 
Okay. Title drop. Oh, this is happening. This dude's swole as hell. There she is, Zeus. Equidistant from the snack bar in the bathroom and pointed away from where old man Best got seat in the house. house. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Gross. Again, prison. I'd rather not. The legends that you told me in the car were true. I just can't believe it wasn't already taken. <laughs> in the car. <laughs> No. no. Stanford? Oh my, was this your chair? I yeah, can no you idea. read? Yes, I did, Stan. Mm. Ew. Moving Knowing this is Flapjack's voice actor is changing it for me. Come on, Wendy. Sorry, Stan, it's not up to me. <laughs> Actually, it is. Hey, Wendy. I then got why? To Wanna go abuse her power? But Just to make fun of Gr Grunkle. All right. Emotionally unstable. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What is he doing? Sit-ups. Oh. And patrol. How long are you in for? Two hours for roughhousing, but I'm innocent. Pool jail ain't so bad, as long as you don't wind up in solitary. <laughs> that are the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? He probably you pooped in the pool. You don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I brought you a sandwich. It's sort of wet, but it's still good. Blah. Wait, I'm seeing a little bit of mermaid tail looking action. That that little blue thing on him. Oh, interesting. Like that wet sandwich does look delicious, but you must never tell another living soul my terrible secret. You have to stay away from me because I am a merman. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were gonna say you had a girlfriend. A merman. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known from your strange foreign fish language. It is Spanish. What? <laughs> <laughs> it is Spanish. There are some who call me Mermando. This is because Mermando is my name. Mermando. I was swimming with my friends, the mighty dolphins, in the Gulf of Mexico. When I was ensnared. Let's feast on his flesh. The cargo was headed for Gravity Falls. Using all my strength, I tried to escape back home. Huh. <laughs> oh, no. Dang. I would have died of dehydration. Were it not for the kindness of the forest animals. Continue licking. How? Because they their saliva is water. Oh. All right. Cartoon physics. Gotcha. I don't care that you're a merman. You're like the coolest guy I've ever met, and you can play at least one chord on the guitar. I've never met another human like you. Would you care to join me in a game of the Marco Polo? Oh yes, Armando. <laughs> yes. You're covering my gills. I cannot breathe. <laughs> so this is the first, like, I feel like humanoid magic creature we've met. Yeah. Wonder if he's gonna keep coming back, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fry him. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> that was so casual, too. Yeah. Inflatable duck guy? Yes, Zeus. I can talk. Oh what? Gosh. I knew you guys were secretly alive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like Seuss insanity art. That's funny. You must free us. The inflatable pool duck revolution is at hand. <laughs> Pool's closing. Clear out, everyone. Pool Jack, hi. What if someone actually needs a lifeguard, though? Hmm. Have a good night, son. Lock up the supplies for me. <laughs> <laughs> Did Seuss go in there? <laughs> the pool. She like, is he going to be locked in there? Oh. Uh, Want to go for a walk? Merman. <laughs> I am a merman. Oh, right. <laughs> Look, here's a scrapbook of human stuff. Here's me standing with my legs. And here I am kicking Dipper in his legs. Can you imagine not having legs? Let's skip this part. And here's my whole family kickboxing. Dude. What's wrong? He looks so forlorn. Because he wants legs. I was going to say all that water on the... How I miss them. Oh. Aww. Why don't you just leave the pool? I tried only once. Well, now he has help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this feels like it's not going to work out. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love that the was length really of funny. That, clip. that was super funny. That I liked that one. Also, is that the wife of that guy that married a woodpecker earlier in the season? <laughs> remember that? Maybe I do remember that. I want to see this again. <laughs> oh, 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 
<laughs> Dang. Got comboed. No, I am glad that I am here because I met you. This is it, Mabel. First kiss moment. Here we come. Does he know what that is? Me? Yeah. Nothing. This? I was just eating some sour candy. Can I have some candy? No. Oh. I'm scared. With this job, you and me are going to be having fun all summer. All summer? Wow. Why is he not talking to Wendy yeah. about it? Yeah. He's the brand new. You want to keep this job? Well, some maniac broke into the supply closet last night and destroyed our one and only pool skimmer. Oh. If one more supply gets taken, you're fired. I won't let you down. Why are we not talking to Wendy? <laughs> yeah. Maybe everything was fine when it was just Wendy, so any problems are default him. Mm. Are you thinking about them? <laughs> I care about you too much to see you like this. We're gonna bust you out of here and get you back to your family. Escape is impossible. We're breaking you out of here tonight. Calling it now. Breaks him out, gets him to the water, gives her a kiss, and then leaves with his family. Like, it's like a... Thank you. And then that's how she gets her first kiss. All right. And it's a merman. Yeah. All right. And eventually marry Wendy. Free! Ha. Whoa. Where you stand? I'm sleepwalking. Also, now I'm sleep talking. Nice hat, by the way. Don't tell me he's like going to steal the hat. Sorry, steal the chair. I'm going to get that seat and be ready in the morning when Oh Jenny my yeah. God. <gasps> well, he wrecked the fence. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Supply closet. Is she gonna put him in a cooler? My original plan was to tape together a bunch of fish sticks to make you a prosthetic pair of people legs. <laughs> All right. I, I could just transport you in this cooler. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dedication to fish physics. I love it. Fish eggs. Good one. Mabel, Thanks. Is there anyone not breaking into the pool tonight? What is Zeus here too? Go home, Sue. You guard. The timing of this show is so <laughs> funny. And the way he's jumping. You're right. The timing is great in this show. If you don't give me those supplies, I'll lose the coolest job ever. Hey, look, Wendy in a bikini. Really? At night? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> at night. Didn't even use the hole that was wide open nope. in the fence. I had to make a new one. Not a. Th okay, no. looks like he was. <laughs> Can't all be saved. Oh. <laughs> Just let him get him to the water and then take the stuff back. Yeah, right? That seems like a non-issue. Now all I have to do is wait here 15 hours until the pool opens. Easy. This was a good plan. <laughs> I think someone just sped by. Probably just a dream. With you, every day is a dream. Oh, Sweet. Their bromance is unmatched. No. I cannot breathe. You must hurry. Alright, the jig is up. Hand over that cooler. Never! Why not? Hola. Whoa. Dipper, Mermando the Merman. Nice to meet you. Also, I think I am dying. Water. We have water balloons, water. though. <laughs> Throw them into the we're by the lake. Dipper, you're a lifeguard. Give him CPR. You are by the water. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> No, no. Dipper's first kiss. Cotton 4K. Why didn't you just roll me into the lake? Thank you. Exactly. You were by the lake. It was literally closer than the golf cart. <coughs> I am weak from coughing. How will I get my family to hear my call from the mighty depths of the ocean? BRB. Did she grab the speakerphone? megaphone too? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Not speakerphone. Get fired. It's a megaphone. You know what it's like to fall for someone? Even though you know in your heart that it'll probably never work out. He's like, I think I can a little uh, bit relate actually, to that. Yeah, that's actually, yeah. what I'm doing at this very moment. <laughs> Thanks, Dip. Mabel. Oh, I've Dip. I've never met anyone like you. Same here. There Call we go. It. Amazing. Whoa, okay, that's gross. <laughs> that was my first kiss. It was also kind of your first kiss, too. Huh? Please don't involve me in this. That's funny. Goodbye, Mabel. Oh, that, I like this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very sweet. Oh, wait, wait. One Lifeguard. Oh. Yes! 
That's got to be a reference. Is that uh, L Free Willy? Hold on, hold on. We gotta, I gotta check that. It's the uh, same angle. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. Yep. That's definitely it. Yeah, like th this yeah, shot. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. Bam. Solid memory. I've actually never seen that movie. I just assumed it had to kind of be from it. What? I just, it, it's just too, I, I, like, think about how many movies okay. have there been about freeing an animal that's like a swimming, like, dolphin or something. Of course, there was an orca in that movie, but... Orcas are dolphins. What? Are they? No, actually, like, you're not messing with me? No, I'm being dead serious. They're actually dolphins? Yeah, that's why the killer whale thing is such a not real thing. Well, I mean, aren't dolphins also killers? Exactly. So wouldn't they're oh, not whales. It'd be a killer dolphin? Exactly. Oh, so they must be real smart. They are brilliant. Mm. Just why they're attacking yachts? Exactly. Yeah. Tough for look this? for Dipper here. It's my fault, sir. I'm sorry. I got in too deep. Got in too deep. Ha. Huh. Oh. Dang. We want to calm down a little bit. Yeah. I don't like that. If one more thing goes wrong today, <laughs> the whistle sound as he swallowed it. Oh. Bring it out. <laughs> you. Oh. I want to see more of this character. <laughs> he ran straight through it. Get him. <laughs> hey, doofus. You never guess what happened. I just got fired. What? I guess pool check found out I was taking too many snacks. How many? <laughs> hey, want to go break rules somewhere else? Of course. Great. So they're still okay. hanging out. The guy seems to have gotten out of solitary. Oh, no. Dear Mabel, I am home with my family and I am very happy. They're very cute together. I liked it. Yeah. More bottles on the way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. Guess you won. Put her there. No, <laughs> don't do it. Hey, oh. Oh, he glued. Also, his legs. Whose? <laughs> the, the ones that look like a bony skeleton. Okay, the ones that look like a straight-up flipper Those are, are also- Those are proportionate. These are- he's, Look at his arms to his legs. It's very funny. That is funny. Enjoy your chair. Forever. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, kids, get the spatulas! Yeah! <laughs> oh, he's still in solitary. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, no. This reminds me of that Spongebob meme where they're showing the guy going through his life. I've never seen that, so I wouldn't know that. <laughs> Were you going to say that? I was going to say that. Yeah. Dang, what did he even do? Right? Like, <laughs> it's just... breaking the fence and like stealing I'm shit. <laughs> That's, That's my favorite end clip. Wow. I'm going to win this room somehow. And when I do, I'll finally have my own space. Yeah, you can we'll shock people. Ever again. Whoa. Don't tell me they switched bodies. Ugh. What happened? Great, great episode of Gravity Falls, and that's where we're left. Perfect. What are your first thoughts? That was just so fun. Super sweet. Seeing Dipper and Wendy together more, I feel like Dipper is becoming more his own person the more he hangs out with Wendy. Yeah, I feel like we're getting to the point where I feel like we're in the ballpark of him starting to be like, maybe we should just be good friends. Yeah, maybe. Like, I feel like he's starting to get that maybe this isn't really meant to be, but you guys have, like, amazing friend chemistry. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. well, hijinks he, and stuff. Yeah. He definitely related to that moment when Mabel was saying, like, it ultimately can't be when she was talking about the literal mermaid. But if that's how he feels about Wendy, that that makes me feel slightly better for him, just so he doesn't get shattered if something happens. Yeah, we'll uh, see how he continues to sort of manage that relationship. But that's where we're left for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below for episodes coming every Tuesday. And uh, check out the Patreon to see these episodes right now in their extended full length forms. We have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. Uh, for now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, question one, Impulsive Insomniac asks, what do you think about Dipper and Wendy's friendship? Yes, Dipper has a crush, but in general, I love their friendship, even if there wasn't a crush involved. We were kind of chatting about this. Yeah, I feel like I'm, the friendship's really growing on me. Exactly. Um, 
I think Dipper's doing a really great job of not letting the fact that he has a crush impact or like heavily influence the way he goes about interacting with her. Like it's very much a friendship dynamic, which I mean, that's how a good relationship should be. Yeah. Um, But it's also great for establishing just like a base relationship to potentially expand from or not. But then you always have that foundation. Yeah. I feel like they're like every time they're together, like it's clear that Wendy never once has been like, ooh, he's being weird. I don't want to hang out with them. And he's no. never done anything too weird. He's really mainly just been really nervous. Yeah. And if anything, he's like said something like put his foot in his mouth, essentially, like with just trying to seem normal because of how like ridiculous his like mind is making him be when he's around somebody he's interested in. Right. Um, but she's been this constant like I just love hanging out with you like I think you're cool the way that you are you don't have to put on all these different fronts try to be cool like just hang out you know mm-hmm. and I feel like he's starting to get that value seeming less desperate and more like hey I got I got a friend we can just be friends Ho- less hopefully. desperate is a good way to put yeah, it yeah that's what I'm seeing but uh, we'll see how their friendship develops but hopefully it stays a friendship because I feel like if you tried anything else it would probably not go well yeah yeah let's go to our second question Question two. Uh, um, Trixie Turner asks, We met Mr. Poolcheck, one of the most intense and unhinged characters in the show. Have either of you ever had a boss as unhinged or intense as Mr. Poolcheck or known someone who did? I've definitely had a boss who was as crazy, but it was a completely different genre. So I feel like it doesn't really compare. I'm imagining that one time we were working at an animal sanctuary Kenny. and we were supposed to assemble. No, not not what you're thinking. Now what you're thinking. We were supposed to assemble a <laughs> peacock cage. And this guy who showed the property up came and was like, you liberals don't know how to do this. And just started. He's just, like, here's how you make a right angle for the video. No, no, no like, you measure it like this. <laughs> teachers, all professors are in on it. And I'm like, we didn't ask. That like, was this, so th- Who funny. are you? That like, was a really It funny. wasn't our boss, but it was just some random dude who had exactly those vibes. And it was just like, uh, all right. Just immediately yelling out of the gate We're with at 12. no context. I did have a football coach who was my favorite coach ever. Um, whose only speaking voice was yelling or quiet yelling. That's which funny. Which he'd be like, hey, so good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. I'm like, we are in a room that is small. Like, <laughs> we need a, a reduction of intensity. Meanwhile, I yell all the time. Yeah. But that should say something if yeah. I'm noticing. <laughs> but anyway, um, love him. Uh, sorry, pff, he's a great coach. But anyway, let's go to our final question. Final question. Jade asks, what on God's green earth did solitary confinement kid do to get locked in the pool drain? It, it has to be like actual murder. I'm thinking that or pooping or peeing in the pool. <laughs> Equal levels of fucked up. I'm kidding. Um, I don't even know. I'm trying to think of what could possibly make the like Mr. Pool. I'm trying to think of what could possibly make Mr. Pool check the most angry. Here's my thought. He was nailing up that sign that was like, do not touch on the pool supplies. Maybe he like committed the cardinal sin of pool supply touching and like caused that to be implemented. Maybe. I'm not sure. Or maybe it was a multiple offenses type thing. Because I feel like that's something that Mr. Poolcheck would not like very much. Yeah. Or maybe he got put in the regular prison and caused problems and like was doing stuff even in there and then got put in salt that's true because the guy in the prison did say like it's not too bad at least or or, i don't remember exactly what he said like at least you're not in solitary like it could be worse or like i don't remember if it was something along the lines of like you just do your two hours and then you'll get out and like just do your two hours and then you'll get out but like don't start shit or you'll end up in solitary. Yeah, we'll Maybe. probably never know, but definitely something heinous. Uh, but that's where we're left for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, are we excited for episode 16 of Gravity Falls? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.